Thomas Latham are down at Crown Plaza. I'm delighted to be joined by a victorious Jamie Fallon. Jay, how did it feel to get back out there and get another one? I felt really good, mate. felt really, really good. Um, I, I needed that. I needed that. It's been, it's, aye. Because it's been a while I've been out of the ring. You know what I mean? And then I came back to a 10 round title fight that I didn't train for. Stood there like a punching bag. I still nearly ended up winning it, to be fair. But um, no, it was good to get out and show my boxing. You know what I mean? That, that, this night wasn't about me going out there and blasting a guy out. And Chris is a big, crafty, tough boy. You know what I mean? But that's what that's not what this was about. This was about me going out and and uh, going for the duration, showing a wee bit of fucking fitness, a wee bit of finesse, the finesse I've got. Every, everybody knows that I'm hard on a coffin nail, but it's uh, aye, just about to show how I can box. Moving the slap punches. I don't know how if my face is marked up. But you can watch this interview back then and you can you can uh, take the tilt for yourself. But I never really got having much at all. But overall, happy. I'm happy, mate, aye. Yeah. Since you your I'm time of Since your time away for the the last fight, um you've had time to reflect. I don't know if you're the kind of guy that goes that goes and watches it back or not, but um what did you take away for that night at the Hydro? Uh, I, do you know it's not about what I take, it's not really, I don't think about what I took away from it, it's what other people took away from me. Because I've now shown how tough I am, numerous occasions, I've now shown I'm hard as fuck, I'm as hard as I come, you know what I mean? But, now I've got a new task and I need to show people how good I am, because I, I can fight, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a slicker than your average mate, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not just a big brawler, that's not just what I am, you know what I mean? Um, I've been in the ring over a hundred times. As people forget, I've been boxing since I was eight year old. You know, I can fight, but I, I seem to be instead of me going out there and showing that, I keep getting out there and trying to prove different things, trying to prove them tough, trying to prove them fit. But the, the Scottish title fight, when I just went out, bam, 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 and I moved, just touching shots. But but I can I, I can do it. No, it's shag my own ass, mate. But I can do everything. Do you know what I mean? I can box. I can brawl. I can scrap. I can. Play dirty, I can be a nice clean boxer, do you know what I mean? But I need, I need, to, I need to show that, I need to show that. Because so far, any time I've won a big opportunity, I've fucked it with, with drink for another if I'm drinking Johnny Walker. But I've been off the drink for a while. Um, I'm not drinking every day. I'm just uh, celebrating a, a good win that I got there. But, um, bye. Oh, Jesus. X rated. Well, I can't tell him. Jesus. What's he talking about X rated? You know what he's talking about. Oh, what are you talking about, your dick? Fucking honest, am I? Um, I so. We'll just take out for I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so I, you're no one for really reflecting. Um, I, I took I, I took more away for the fight week than I did the fight. Because mm. the fight, all I done is prove that I'm hard as fuck. I proved I'm tough. I proved I can take a punch. I know I can do that anyway, I just proved it to other people. There was nothing for me to take away from that fight other than knowing I'll be there to, I'll happily die in there, you know what I mean? It's just nice to say, but I will. Is there any regret? A regret? 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 I'm not training, 100%. But I was in a bad headspace, but I can't even look back on it. You know what I mean? I was in a position where, where I needed it, I spent it before I had it. And uh, I couldn't, you know, I had a lot of stuff going on, what mental health issues. Um, to be quite frank, mate, nearly admitted a couple of times. But, but I came through it all. You know what I mean? So I proved to myself there's more, there's more mental strength there than, than what I thought there was. So was, I take that away to it. If, if, if we're looking at it that way. It proves that I'm strong in the head, you know what I mean? And how has that been for this fight? How has uh, the mental demons that you've had in the past, have you been able to keep them under control? Is it something that's still always on the surface? Or? They're, all, they're always there, mate, but... I knew dance with him instead of fight with him. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, how did the training go for this fight? Training went well. Train, uh, training went really well. Um, I, well, I mean, obviously, I'm not as light. I'm not, about, not even as light as I was when I fought Nick, but I did go up to 22 stone and I've, I've lost two, two, two stone through this training camp. But I went bigger, do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm coming for 19, 10, and then going up to. To 25, I went, I went, I went, um, I went high in the weight, and then came back down. Uh, but, but no, no, I feel, I feel, I feel great, mate. And, I've, and I, Chris was a good opponent, but I had to, I had to get past him so I can knock out my next one. 
um, which which can be said to the, the next opponent. Eh? But um, he'll have his guard there. That's the thing about the heavyweight division. No opportunity is, is always going to be there. Um, what's the plan now? Are you going to go out and enjoy yourself? Are you well, going to be back in the gym? Well, I mean, <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is my like as you know. <laughs> but <coughs> I'll enjoy myself tonight. Um, I'll enjoy myself tomorrow, and I'll be back in the gym on Tuesday. Okay. As arranged when I go to Jerry, because I've got I've got a bigger fish to fry than Chris Healy, and I need to be ready for it. We went and touched on it in the lead up to this. This event was kind of getting built towards a collision course. There was yep. two heavyweights on the show. Yep. There was yourself. There was Kazim. Yeah. Um. What's your thoughts on that fight? I mean, it's a good win for me. You know what I mean? No, get me, me and Kazim have known each other for years. We get on. We'll be getting in there to have a good proper knock. You know what I mean? Both of us are two good fighting men, two, two hard guys. You know what I mean? We like a good pair up. It'll be a crack fight to watch it. But, um, but realistically, see, uh, realistically speaking, mate, I beat him. I beat, I beat him twice a day and three times on a Sunday. Do you know what I mean? I, 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 I'll box well against, against Kazim. Unless he clocks me, because the boy can fucking punch. But then I can tell I punch. We don't know. What knows what happens? Just come here. Buy a ticket and come here. That's me, but I'm sorry, I'm not committing. Do you think, think um, the English Scottish title could be on the for? Quite possibly. Because I, I spoke to Nicholas personally, you know, I got a call to Nicholas, a cracking guy. And uh, he said he's not really interested in the rematch. So, fair enough, you know what I mean? He wants to go on and, and do other things. And I think he knows... He knows me fit as a, as a problem. You know, I think anybody knows me fit as a problem. I had three opponents knock back this fight because they said, nah, he's in the gym. Now, that's not an excuse that you hear often. Nah, I don't want to fight because he's in the gym. But it's, it's because I'm notoriously not in the gym. You know what I mean? When I'm not in the gym, all people get a chance. Right, Brian? And what would it mean to you if that Scottish title was yeah. knowing you've obviously held it at Cruiserweight? To be a two-weight Scottish champion, mate. See, me, that, that's, that's more than I ever dreamed of doing. I've done more than I ever dreamed of doing. I thought Madison Square Garden, mate. That's fucking wild, isn't it? I'm a tramp for Yoka. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a tramp for the scheme. You know what I mean? I thought Madison Square Garden. I've co an event in the, the in the Hydro, my own city. I've fucking, I've, I've boxed on BT, I've boxed HBO, I've boxed H- ESPN. I nearly had a contract with Top Rank, but I'm fucking big Nicholas beat me. You know what I mean? And I'm just a wee tramp for Yoka. Just a wee fat prick for the scheme. Do you know what I mean? That's um, so two of it Scottish champion to me sounds fucking amazing, amazing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I that... said, you know what I mean? Better times in North Murray, there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mate. <laughs> Name Dennis will get that. Shout out to the bomb squad. Um, <laughs> bomb squad. Would you look back if you went and finish your career after this next one of us for the Scottish title and be happy? Oh, 100%, mate. If I look back my career now, I'd be happy. Ah, but you've I always can... said to me, I tell you with the heavyweight division. You yeah. always, I tell you the first the time I division. met you, uh, I'm going to be the youngest heavyweight uh, champion. I don't, I don't, I, I'm leaving the heavyweight champion in my own house. My dog's took that title. <laughs> but if I can win a heavyweight belt, then, then I, I'd fucking mean the world to me. Do you know what I mean? I would never expect you to do it. Not just in the ring, out of the ring. I was expected to probably be in a jail now. I mean, there's a good case pending, but that's not a point. <laughs> 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 no, but, um, but that's, that's, that, that's just the way. I was never expected to do anything, do you know what I mean? And I've done fucking more than anybody's ever expected. You know, first came into Sam's gym, when I first came into there, the wee fat 17 year old, and I was in sparring with, sparring with the big boys, the best in the white collar circuit, there might be big baddies. And I was in sparring with them, and I was fucking mauling, holding them on. And uh, Sam hated me at first because it was loud, and I'm, I'm just me, the way I am. And then he realised, no, that's not an act, that's <laughs> he's just a wee bit, <laughs> a wee bit funny. But, um, and now, now fucking Sam, Sam's like a big brother to me, you know what I mean? Fuck, I've got my own shop at his gym. He's given an opportunity to, to own my own business, you know what I mean? And he's done more for me, but he, he's obviously fucking now seen something, seen something in me. And I managed to say, that's fucking good, man. Well, let's close out on that, your wee business. What's happening? Ghost Barber shop, mate, at the front of the kind of boxing gym, 31 Portland Street, G41 1EJ, Largo. Get a sit and get a trim. I, I might be a bit iffy for what you're seeing in my boxing, but I can fucking cut hair. I'm good at it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I need everything to be perfect. It's the autism ripping at me. <laughs> Is it like, have you ever watched Father Ted? No, no, no. no, no. no I watched even again, and there's no point. Oh, it's a brilliant show, too, man. Anyway, mate.
you go enjoy your night. You've already started. Yep. I'm fucked, Jack. I <laughs> see. And then. Fuck, I can't even hold it with that. Fuck that bum, bro. Anyway, goodbye in the gym. <laughs> I'm going to look forward to you next time. Thank you, mate.